Welcome back to the Backyard Cafe YouTube channel. In today's episode, we'll be exploring the Lopinot Historical Complex in Trinidad. Stay tuned. We're going on a tour. Um, what's the name of the um, plantation? This is the Lopino plantation. The, plantation. the Lopino Cocoa Plantation. And Lopino was the name of the people that was here. The, the oh, slave master. The slave master. That's his name. Oh, I, Count Lopino. Oh. I, it, it, song, it song like... Oh yeah, he was the count. That means that he had a lot of money. Like the Count of Monte Cristo, eh? If he would have spent the night, he would have seen his ghost appearing on his horse, okay. riding through the plantation. On his wife. Man, I even tie up that ghost. And I actually, we, we, we bury the treasure. So please, let me stay the night. Well, he, still, <laughs> he still patrols in the night, so maybe yeah. if you do say, so you can ask him. And it is. it is said that he is buried with all his jewels. Well, I want right to find these Right in the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, eh? Because he, he used to tie up and beat you if, if he cut you. Eh? Well, <laughs> it was not an easy one. So you better hope that you catch him and he'll catch you. We we trying to scare the ladies or no, thing because no. I'm not easily scared. Actually, there, there's this dungeon there, wrong stuff. This house yeah. Surrounded by so many ladies in red. Oh, I'm telling you, man, I'm loving it though. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm <laughs> loving this young lady here. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what Trinidad is called, red woman. Uh huh. Red woman. Oh, no, 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 no. But but guess what is me weakness? <laughs> Yo, I'm enjoying this wine. But most of all, the air on this plantation, it feels lighter. It feels lighter. Oh my goodness. And I love the way that they preserve everything. This wine, sorrel wine. Let me finish it off. Just the ice left there. Throw it on the plant. And the wine was delicious. But the plantation we are about to visit, the Lopino plantation, Count Lopino, he was this the owner of this plantation. And um had the native people work the plantation and you still have some of the ancestors who took over the plantation and they're doing the same thing now they're getting paid to do that right and they're keeping the heritage alive right here on this plantation so is the wine delicious yes it is the story behind all of that is even more fun all right so lovely i love it Count de Lopino was a lieutenant general in the French army. He left France when he was 16 years old and went and fought war in Louisiana in America. He was fighting with the British against America and of course America won that war. But before they won that war, he went in Santa Domingo in Haiti. And in Haiti he had a lustrous life. He had a good life. He had a hundred slaves and things was going very good for him. But then a black slave called Toussaint Louverture had a violent rebellion and of course we are very happy for that because if he didn't do that to this we day we are still happy right right so, so Tucson so big up Tucson, to Tucson big up to Tucson and in Lopino we celebrate Tucson love it too because of him we first it become the first country in the western hemisphere that got their freedom right yes and of course France never forgive Haiti for that and they spent about two billion dollars in taxes thus far you understand right so the county of Lopino would have to, while that rebellion was going on, he would have went to his 100 lawyer slave and he would have said, listen, I don't want to die here. I, sh I treated you all good, and we are assuming, because we can't, we don't understand why they would, wouldn't stay and fight with Tucson, but they, they rescued him from Haiti and they passed him off as sugar, put him in a barrel and brought him to Trinidad. He went to Governor Hislop and Governor Hislop said, I told him, I did not receive any letter from King Louis XVI of France. I am sorry, I cannot give you any land. They said he was very upset because he fought with the British. But however, he got, got a loan and he went to Takarigua and he planted sugar, but he did not get the glory that he would have got in Haiti. 
So by this time, he won favor with the um, government and he granted this huge piece of land. We still have the road that he would have walked up, right? And he was so happy because there's the river and over there was a spring and he called it La Reconnaissance Estate and La Reconnaissance means gratitude in old French. He was mm -hmm. grateful. So here he lived with his 100 lawyer slaves. The history is deep, man, and for you to still uh, teach this, amazing. What? Your dad. So he told me for I continue his Right. So of course they didn't have stones. So well the, the oven was dipped, right? This is the oven that they would have used to bake the bread and pun. Um we got some get some Suriname and they said that they they baked their day inside it as well. Yes. But you it stays like this keeps the heat. You can roast a pig in here, man. Really? Well, they say we didn't know that. So our heritage didn't let us know that they used to bake, but we bake bread and stuff here. Right. Now, over on this side, you see that blue house there? Yes. All there was the slave barracks. And after slave, the indentured laborers stay in that side. Also, the blue house over there, we had a shaman, and he used to cure shingles. You know and shingles? Yes. Right. So people from all over Trinidad used to go to him, and he cured shingles. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Right. This tree, you see here? It's called the salmon tree, and we have about eight around the estate. The thing that's coming down is old man beard, and the city spirits of these children still live among the trees. My God! Right. So let's go again. Right. Um. Just before we do that, right. Uh. What shingle is is the after effect from chicken pox. Yeah. So you get chicken pox when you're young, yeah. and you get shingles when you're older, right? So the 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 gentleman used to heal shingles yeah so we have his patea is still at the first people's site in cleaver woods good yeah? amazing right. story goosebump stories man to tell the story here and shabaka kambon son of kafa kambon say hit us take down this sign lawyer slave there was no, there's no such thing as lawyer slave take down this sign and we agree because he's saying that they mentally Anything their master would have asked them to do, they did it. So some people might say, yes, it had house slave. He said he don't care. There's no such thing as lawyer slave. We agree with him. We take down the sign. Perfectly in order. Take it down. Take it There's down. no such thing as a loyal slave. No such thing. Yeah? Come this way. So would you believe that after they rescued him from Haiti, he still built jail house to them up here? And then still have a sign up as loyal yeah. slaves. So what they did, what we believe happened up here is they they probably felt betrayed by because by then from island to island word would have gotten around that Haiti got their freedom. They were Haitians and probably they had rebellion up here because we can't understand why he still went and built a three room chamber or a, a, a prison in, in a cocoa estate and there's none like this in the Caribbean. Guyana has anything like this in the Caribbean? Um, a jailhouse and a cocoa plantation? No. Right, so there's not like this it's in any... It's very hidden and it's covered up. Yes, so it's, 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 it, we probably believe this is the only standing one remain like this in any cocoa plantation. And of course, it's very disheartening to see. On top here is a cocoa house. So there's a stop, step from here to there to go up. And we believe that they still had to dance the cocoa with shackles on the foot. My yeah? God. Right? This year, well, in the 1970s, we had one of the biggest cocoa estates. This cocoa house opens like this and close like this, and this cocoa house opens like this and close like this. So it's this. a retractive roof. It's a retractive roof. They were brilliant at that time. They were geniuses. So, of course, cocoa and cocoa needed their own house was because cocoa cannot get wet in rain. Right. You have What's different right? stages for the cocoa, in the drying process. Yes. And in Trinidad now, we have three different stages. Three different types of cocoa, Criollo. The Spaniard bring that type of cocoa in Lopino in the 1500. The Forestero, the Venezuelan brought that in the 1700. The Trinidad and Tobago government take the two together, grafted it, and now we have the world renewing cocoa called Trinitario cocoa as revealed around the world. And we are very proud of that as well. That is, that is food history that I didn't know. And I love the history of food, mm -hmm. right? I'm following uh, Ghana. And their cocoa
production and plantation and how it's taking over the world now yes. i know of the best cocoa coming from uh ecuador, ecuador. because of the, the they're being in the middle of the equator yes. and that soil that yes. they have there right so, so and ecuador always are the top one with Second, that's correct the and now you're telling me that trinidad is in the ratings in the of ratings. that right there yes we are in the ratings we are the cocoa bank of the world wow so why the place is closed uh, this is where we dance cocoa uh -huh. so i'll show you all just now right yeah This would have been a shackle that they would have put around their foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah? This is the bottles we found on the estate. These are the Dutch bottles. Yeah, all the, uh, just that we can get the folks to understand. These are literally what the Dutch bottles look like. Oh, those are Dutch bottles. These are the Dutch bottles. Right? Look at this, the iron. I know I'm not supposed to touch it, right? I'm not supposed to touch the artifacts. But this is an iron, a hot coal iron. Yes. You would put this on the coal, yes. the fire side, and then you press in. Yeah. This, this is a hole. Yeah. This is the hard shoe, so which means you had a spot where you were doing blacksmith. Yes, it had a lot of because That is one of the things that the African ancestors came with from Africa, yeah. learning how to mold iron yeah. into different materials. Right. So we have coffee. I guess I can give you one. Oh, this nice. Is, this is the you give anyone. Lovely. Right? Um, Smell good. Yeah. Right? And this is the cocoa ball that we use to make the tea that they're going to taste in a bit. Okay, right? good. So, All different cocoa uh, products. Right. So this is chocolate. That's it. Yeah. And you can eat this raw, this like like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. That's right. So what percentage? Sixty-five. Ooh, that's, that's strong chocolate. Nice, sir. Quite nice, sir. You got the chocolate meat in it. Yes. Okay. It's dark, right? Wow, that's a nice one. You see how nice and smooth? This is looking at chocolate. Right. Usually it's so bitter when you saw that percentage. Yeah, you know? but ours, we, we go out to schools and we realize the children is getting it out. So we, we kind of we take it to our That's local good. flavor. And you know what Trini, Trini, Trini say? They like dark chocolate, but they don't really like it. No, they don't. And they like milk no chocolate. They like milk mm. no chocolate. I know it. We know it. We realize it. But this is nice. It's this nice, is huh? really this is good. good. Yeah. Yes, it's our chocolate, not peanut chocolate. It has a distinct <laughs> flavor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not tasting it. It's not burnt chocolate. No, it's not. It's really nice. Mm. So tell people about our chocolate. How are you, brother? Yeah, man. Good to see you. This is really good chocolate. Yeah, it's good. Mmm. Yeah, we can export some to you. Yes. Do you know about the rain stick? The rain stick. Right. So this is what if they have a real dry season. This is what they would use to call the rain. They would have like a hundred of these. It works. Brilliant. They were brilliant. So when the white man says sorry, so when the white man say they were cannibals and savages, they were actually very civilized. They had their own instruments, their own town, their own council, their own chief, their own village, their own houses. They had everything. Their own agriculture plantation, which is indeed, in, it was brilliant. So they were very intelligent people. You yeah. understand? That chocolate is smooth, yes, sir, and you're not getting the yeah. f after taste from the chocolate. It's delicious. I'll take some. I'll I'll, I'll get some for you. Yes. The retractable retract roof that we saw there, the roof would open up, then they would dry the cocoa in the evening to get it, uh, no, the dew coming or rain falling, they would close it up back. Building intact, and they have the prison down in the bottom there. Right? So, wow.
I love the foot movement. So you have, because of the coco, you still have the Spanish influence, yeah. even to this day. Yeah. Nice, lovely. Hey man, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. This is this is great, man. Thank you. Yes, please. Come, everybody. Everybody, let me go for Angela. Come, come.